Make your child a champion. champion. Up close with Malaysia's champion. All right, Dr. Marina Chin in the studio with us. A lot of us have been drinking Milo since we were kids already. Yourself as well, I'm sure. Yes, since I was in primary school. Let's go back to our school days. How did you get started in sports and what kind of training did you get into to be the world-class runner that you are? You know? Okay, I actually started sports and my involvement with track and field in school. And those days in Convent Central, that little bit of field that we had, the teachers used to make us run, you know, and if you won that one race, okay, you stayed back and ran the second race with the others and that's how I got selected to represent the greenhouse and from there my school got involved with the inter school at the district level I had a teacher who had just come back from the specialist teachers in uh, training institute and she knew Emra Jumani and introduced us to Emra Jumani and we started training with her and that's how I became very involved with track and field throughout your career what would you consider to be your biggest achievement there? personally I consider my first ever gold medal at the sea games which is the 4 by 400 meters it's not my individual race, but the 4 by 400 meters, which I ran together with Junaida Aman, Fazila Ahmad, and um, Noreen Pereira. And even though there was only two teams competing and we got the goal, but getting the medal and hearing the Garaku play for us, it really gave me a very surreal feeling. And, and I think at that moment, I decided this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry on and run and see how far I can go. What is your most memorable Milo sporting moment? There have been many, actually, but I think I was very touched at Milo Sarah their 50-year anniversary, there was a ceremony where they presented these mementos to athletes whom they consider to have contributed greatly to the country, and I was one of them. How has sports helped you as a person in general today? I was a very introverted, shy kind of a kid when I was in primary school. I have this pan-Asian looks, but I go by the name of Chin Ling Sim. When they find that I'm adopted, they say, you know, oh, you poor thing not realizing that I actually have really wonderful family. I think being a child of seven, eight, nine, ten years old, I didn't know how to cope with that. So I was really very introverted. My friends used to tease me because of the way I looked. They say I spoke English with an English slang when I've never been outside of Malaysia until that time. And uh, I think after getting involved with sports and I started meeting all kinds of people and starting to do well, it gave me the confidence to believe that I can be who I am, who I want to be without bothering about what anybody else thinks of me. Talk about studies and sports, the balance. Mm -hmm. What is the balance? How much focus do you place on each one? I think the balance has to come with your priorities for that moment. Like I always try and tell my kids, when you are sitting for the SBM exam, that has to be your priority. To me, the balance should be more towards your education. But there are ways and means of saying, like say, okay, if you happen to be 17 in Form 5, but you've also been selected for the Olympics or the Commonwealth Games and yeah. things like that, then I guess your priority will have to be sports. So then we will have to look at alternative ways to help you cope with your education, maybe defer for a year or like what we do sometimes, we send tutors. So there are ways and means. But when we talk about the balance, it will depend on the situation and what has to be the priority for that time. Brought to you by Milo.